What's going on guys? My name is Demon. Today we're going to be summoning for Scratchman Apu. Now, we knew it was going to be Scratchman Apu or X Drake. I mean, we didn't know, but you know, that's what we assumed would happen. Um, we'll summon, review him. I think we also are getting a three star killer, so that's great. And yeah, so obviously, we want to summon on the step up. Unfortunately, they didn't revert the changes to the step ups they made, but hey, as long as we get lucky, right? But hopefully, they understand that this is not the step ups we want. We want better step ups, we don't want the step ups to keep getting worse as time goes on. So, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay, Rouge, oh my boy, <laughs> welcome, welcome, I love playing with this guy, I'm not kidding, I love this guy, you know, people are saying, oh, he's so good, he's good against Blackbeard, I don't care for that, I just enjoy playing this guy, he's a very enjoyable character to play with, and uh, dude, <laughs> this, is, this is great, alright, skip step two. What? <laughs> All right. Okay, dude. Okay, Bandai. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. My Sengoku summons, you know, they were subpar. I did more summons, and you guys will see it another day. But this, my Apu luck, my Rouge luck have been on point. If this was the way old step ups were, like when Wano Zoro and Wano Law were out, the next step would be a guaranteed Apu, and I would have guaranteed level 80 him. But they decided that's not what they want to do with the game anymore. So yeah, we're guaranteed something here. So you know, we'll watch the we'll watch the first half of the last multi. We'll skip this one and this chopper. All right, I think this is my last chopper. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm not close, but kind of close. One more dupe and a few more games played, and yeah, there he is. So, if we get two choppers here, we're gonna be doing some gameplay on a poo. So let's watch the first few summons, because uh, some of you guys for some reason enjoy this. I don't know why. I really don't understand. Oh, that's a great one, actually. That's a great one. I've been using a poo, not a poo, sorry. I've been using a rouge with a Marco. So that's a great summon right there. Now, it was a runner, it could have been a poo, but I'll actually take that. Marco is actually one of my favorites. So that is really, really good. What level is he now? 92. That's actually really, really good. I'm really, really happy with these pulls. What the fuck? Um, all right. So let's review Scratchman real quick. So very funny skills so let's check out his skills he has a slash so close range attack with a chance to stun moves to the back for long range area attack nullify stagger which is nice and acquire speed debuff so okay we're gonna have to play with this see what it actually does boom begin charging by holding down the skill button dude they've been enjoying these this holding down skill button sengoku bullet and now him you will attack after a certain amount of time has passed or by letting it go if you charge it up you'll unleash a different attack you're able to move while holding down <gasps> you can move that's great so if it's not charged you'll do a close range attack with a chance to stun and if it's charged you'll do a mid-range and it nullifies stagger that's great all right traits when you down an enemy boost speed by 10 percent for six seconds that's not bad if every time you down an enemy it cannot stack but so don't try to put medals at boost speed it's just not gonna work but that's not bad when your strength is more than 80 boost capture speed by 50 percent that's very very good for a runner a lot of runners recently have not been getting any boost to capture speed so this is very good when using skill 2 boost speed by 10 okay uh i'm not a fan of this but it's okay when you're attacking an enemy in the area around your enemy's treasure increase damage out by 20 okay so you want to be attacking with this guy when you capture the treasure reduce the cooldown time of skill 2 all right Let's check them out. What's the cooldown on skill 2? 47 seconds, so quite long. And this one is 28, right? Yeah. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what he does in survival 100. So I won't be doing gameplay for Rouge, guys. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not uh, doing another rotation on him. But I will be doing gameplay on uh, a, a more Rouge gameplay. Uh, because now that I have him at level 90, this is going to be so much fun. But no Apu gameplay. Um, 
in league battles because he's going to be level 70 and it's not going to be fun. Actually, actually, we ended last season SS, but now the season started, so we are in S+. plus. All right, let's just see. Let's just see what he does first. So let's see his normal attacks. Okay, these are weird. What? Okay, I mean, it's three hits, so that's good. The first one takes a long time to hit. But it's, it, it seems good. Okay, so it's three hits. One, two, three. Oh, and it hits behind as well. So you can kind of bait enemies. Well, kind of, not, not necessarily. It will, if it auto-targets, then you lose. All right. His dodge is nice. Dude, I, I'm liking these combos, man. What does this do? It's two hits! Yo, this is actually lit! Alright, let's see what this does uncharged. Okay. Dude, I'm liking this guy, dude. He feels good. Dude, yo. <laughs> Alright, we almost got our skill back. So that's great. I hate playing against this guy. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so you have to time that. As soon as they're down, it won't attack. So you need to time it better. But that's so cool. I don't think we have another character that does that. Like two hits? That's really cool. All right, can we get the thing when it's charged? The range is quite decent on this as well. Like, it's not too far. It's kind of like one of Zoro's range. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh, dude, what the hell? How long does it take to charge? Hello? This is lit. This is actually lit. And it has a chance to stun, right? So... It's going to be great. All right. You know what we're going to do? We're going to give up and come back and do the skill charge because, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to wait another 40 seconds. But, dude, this guy. This guy looks like so much fun to play. What the hell? Man, this is a problem with tier lists nowadays. Like, people are trying to make tier lists all the time. It just doesn't make sense. There's so many good characters. It's going to be really tough to rank all of these. Okay. Okay, dude. What? What? Does it not go after a certain time? The hell? What? That's so weird. Let me read his skill again, dude. Or does it not matter how long you charge it for? Wait, now this one. Uh, begin charging. Oh, right, you can move, right? I'm so dumb. You'll be able to move. Okay. Charged. Um... Uh... You will attack after a certain time has passed. Okay, 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 okay. So we need to move with this guy. My bad, my bad. All right, so let's just add another one. I forgot about the moving part. That's actually, that. that's why it takes so long because you can actually run away with this. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's see how fast you can move though. Okay, so we're using our skill. Yeah, you can actually move at decent speed. Boom! <laughs> okay. I know you could... If you're not using this to run away... This is beautiful. This is such a beautiful skill. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So my thinking with Apu is that you can kind of start charging his skill very, very early on. And you're going to do a lot of good things, man. Like, you can like kind of charge it from the spawn, start running to the enemies, and then as soon as you reach them, pop it mid mid range behind you in front of you it's going to be really good for a runner especially because you're going to run for the middle point having this with you and your your speed is good this is actually really nice on him um other thinking is that you charge it to run away and then if they chase you well then use it at any time you know you don't have to fully charge it so that's very good so i'm really really enjoying scratchman up let's watch this skill one more time man Oh, this is so good. And the music that plays, man. 
see like what I mean is that since we got the skill back is I can kind of run away right and then even if they catch up to me I can just let it go and there's music playing dude this guy this guy is so much fun to play man the music is great um, and yeah let me see if you... Uh, you guys can't hear the music but it's, it's, it's really enjoyable definitely definitely very enjoyable I wish I got one more copy I don't want to use my frags, obviously not, because we're going to get bikini characters very soon. Last year we got them end of July, so not this bounty fest, but the next one should be um, bikinis, hopefully. I hope they don't replace it with kimono characters, maybe, because we know Onami's coming. Hopefully she's a step up and not the bounty fest of next month instead of bikini. That'd be very unfortunate. Uh, as you guys know, my mainest main has been bikini Nami for almost a year now, since she came out. I've enjoyed using Bikini Nami. I love using her. So let me increase the volume and if let me know if you guys can hear this. It's good shit, man. Actually, good shit. Now, if you guys can't hear it, I'll just edit it out. But look at this. Hey, man. Pretty good, pretty good, not gonna lie. So yeah, that being said, hope you guys enjoyed, and peace.